Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking all about Arrow's second birthday. Adios, feliz. Yep, my little girl turned two and I don't know how to feel about it. I'm like so happy and excited that she's growing up and I'm seeing like this whole new side of her. She's talking more, she's more aware of things. Um, but it's kind of like bittersweet because you want them to stay little forever and just have them in your arms and cuddle them and but that's not realistic, right? We celebrated her second birthday this last Saturday that just passed on the 17th and I could not be more happy about her birthday party. It was like the cutest birthday party ever. Like I'm gonna tell you all about it. But first of all, I want to thank um, Arrow's godmother and my friend Amanda for helping me plan everything. Like these two women just killed it. Like they were there all last week with me making stickers, cutting out tags. They got there super early to help me set up. And I am so thankful to have them in my life. Like I literally could not have done this party without them. Like there's one thing about me is that I love hosting. I love having people over, but I love like really small gatherings. Like I love like that intimate setting. Um, for some reason, birthday parties for me overwhelm me sometimes because I feel like it's so many people. Even though Arrow's birthday was really not a big party. Like I tried to just keep it to really really close friends and family uh you know we still have covid going on my in-laws live with us and just to take care of their health and their safety i just decided to do something small and intimate um so we kept it that way but even you guys know that like even with small parties it's still like a lot of work and it's still a lot of money so you know what I was blessed with these two beautiful women who helped me throughout the party planning process. And without further ado, let's get started. So, Arrow's birthday um, was actually last Monday, so on the 12th. So we decided to celebrate it on the 17th. Um, her theme was a puppy theme. So everything was time to potty or it's... Um, come to my potty, P-A-W-T-Y, uh, and I'm going to be inserting pictures and videos throughout this video because I did not vlog the process. I know, I know, I know, epic, epic fail if we even use that saying anymore, but yeah, total fail. I didn't vlog it, but I did get content and I did get enough content to show you um, what happened, what went down, how I planned it, everything. So her theme was a puppy theme a puppy party and so let me show you what we did so for her colors for her theme i decided to go for very neutral uh but feminine colors so i did not want any bright pinks or orange or any of those like really bright birthday colors um by the way like some of her birthday balloons are still up here um, but I decided to go to just very neutral theme. Her, um, it was blush pinks and beige and brown. Um, and then I got some accent balloons with paw prints on them. Um, the balloon arch was done by my friend Amanda, like I told you, it was her. Um, and two more friends that helped out to, to make the balloon arch, right? 
So we basically did everything ourselves. The Cricut was our best friend. We did so much on Cricut. Well, I didn't do anything on Cricut because I don't know how to work the Cricut, but my um, my friend Sasha and Amanda, they both know how to work the Cricut. So they did a bunch of stuff on Cricut. Um, and that helps save a ton of money because as you guys know, like if you go on Etsy to order some of these things, like you can pay an arm and a leg. So if you have friends that have Cricut machines that can help you out, that is a blessing. So um, her cake was also done by my friend Amanda. My friend Amanda is a woman of many talents, let me tell you. Um, if you live in the Miami area and need someone to do your cake, like I will leave her Instagram page down below. That, you, that way you can contact her. Um, but anyway, so she did the cake. For the cake, I wanted something very simple, very minimal. And I did order these like miniature little puppies um, on Etsy. Let me show you. And these are so cute. Like they have all these different little puppies. Um, and then they bring the party hats. So I did order these on Etsy. Uh, but you can totally purchase like just regular dog toys on Amazon or like a, at, a, at a toy store. Um, and then have your friends make these little party hats on Cricut. So that way you can save some money. Even though these were not that expensive. I think these were like $9 or something like that. And it brings, it brings, I'll tell you right now, three, seven puppies. So that's what I did. So I ordered that and that was her cake topper. I did not have fa uh, party bags or favor bags. What do you call those? I guess favor bags. I didn't have that because I decided to do an adopt a puppy station. And I was so obsessed with this adopt a puppy station. So let me show you what I did. So I ordered these little boxes from Amazon, put these little puppies inside a wooden crate and um, I printed out, I created and printed out some adopt a puppy certificates where the kids would go in and choose their favorite puppy, uh, give them a name, um, they would write their adoption date and they would sign that they would care and love on the puppy. So we had those certificates and then we had them choose their little favorite collar. Um, I had a little grass um, kind of placemat, you would say, and then I laid the um the collars on there and then they got to choose their favorite collar and put it on their puppy and then these boxes were so that the puppy could go inside and then they could take them home and then this was their little favorite box as you could see i don't know if you could see well there it says thank you for coming to my potty and this is a little sticker that my friends created on the cricket this is one of those things that we created so this was their favorite box um and i just thought that it was so cute are you guys ready for this this is the cutest thing ever i gave these little paint your own cookies so my friend i have a friend that has a cookie company here in miami she makes the most adorable cookies uh custom cookies and she took out this line of paint your own cookies and i asked her if she could um create a puppy themed paint your own cookie for me and that's exactly what she did and as you can see um this is the cookie in the back you can kind of see it comes with edible paint and a paintbrush they took this home and they were a they're now able to paint their little puppy and just have a good little activity so this is something else that i got for the kids this was the only custom cookie that was left over from the party um i haven't eaten it which is surprising because hemos cookies are so good but this is um one of the custom cookies as you guys can see it says arrow on there but i'm going to insert a picture of the cookies for you so i had custom cookies i had paint your own cookies i had the adopt a puppy station something else that i did was we got a xylophone there's my father-in-law in the background he's heading out um so I got some, uh, is it xylophone? Xylophone? No, it's not a xylophone. Why would it be a xylophone? We got some xylophone. I think that's what it's called. Y'all correct me in the comments if I'm saying this wrong. Xylophone bags and they had puppy prints on them and I just put some popcorn in there and we labeled it and they got some popcorn, right? Um, then we had cupcakes done, we had cake. 
Um, and the one thing that I did not take a picture of, and I somewhat recorded, but it, it just, just the video that I have doesn't do it justice, but um, I created a play fetch station. So what I did was I got a wooden crate and I filled it with Frisbees, uh, fetch balls, um, bubbles, a jump rope, a boomerang. And so I filled it with all sorts of like toys and stuff that like outdoor toys so that the kids would play and they had a blast. So where we had her party was at the school that I used to teach at. So they were gracious enough, my friend Sasha was gracious enough to let us use the facility. And there's like a big outdoor space. So I thought that this would be so cute for the kids to just like run and play. And it was just a little play fetch station. We had a sign made that said play fetch and all the toys were in there. The sign matched the adopt a puppy sign. So we also did that for food. We had a hot dog bar and chicken wings with a really, really, really bomb tortellini salad that maybe I can show you guys how to make one day. It's so, so easy and it's so good. It's perfect for entertaining large crowds. It's super affordable and everyone loved it. Like it was the one thing that everyone wanted to take home was that tortellini salad. Um, so we had that, we had potato chips and it was just such a good time it was an overall fun time so the day after the party we took arrow to um a farm that's around our house and they have like a giant jumping i don't know what you called it like a giant bounce house like type of thing i don't know you'll see it in the video we took her on a tractor ride and we got her some milkshakes so greg and i want to do like this week-long birthday thing with us now like so we started with arrow and then now like we want to celebrate each other's birthdays for like a week long so arrow's birthday was an entire week long oh i forgot to mention the centerpieces so for centerpieces what we did was we got a long grass runner and then we cut it cut it into three equal pieces we put it in the centers of the table i went to dollar tree i bought some little gold frames i put uh, some pictures of arrow when she was a baby leading up to two years old and i put a little puppy and then i got scooby snacks and i filled a jar and i put it right in the center of the table with some another jar with pompous leaves and i love the touch that the pompous leaves gave it it gave it like a soft feminine touch um and it just kept things neutral and classy and um, that's what I did for the center pieces. So I'll insert that picture now. I also got a pinata, nothing too big, just small because um, it is a two-year-old party and all the little kids, most of the little kids were very little. Um, I would say the oldest one there was six years old. The oldest kid there was six years old. Everyone else was around Arrow's age. Um, so yeah, it was amazing. I'm so happy with the way that her birthday party turned out. I um, am looking forward to next year because I already have a theme in mind. And the theme that I have in mind is just, it's making me like giggle. It's making me like so like bubbly because I can't wait to start planning that one. Um, the thing about me is that I love non-traditional themes. Like I hope that Arrow never asked me for a princess party. Like a moana or cinderella or like little mermaid because that's just not me now if she asked for it i'll definitely do it for her but i'm really into like just weird out of the box themes now the puppy theme wasn't weird but it was definitely like just interesting like you don't typically see a little kid's birthday party like i've been to a couple birthday parties recently and it's either baby shark or like for her age it's usually like baby shark stuff coco melon like and all that's super cute i love it like arrow loves baby shark and i've gotten her i've gotten her baby shark toys and stuff like that but um i don't know i just for birthdays i like just to think outside of the box so something i forgot to mention was that her dress was was from zara so as you guys know i love to shop at zara for arrow's clothes like it's my favorite place to shop for her clothes so i got her dress from zara she had some cowboy boots on which i thought looked so cute on her um she she's had those cowboy cowboy boots i bought them for her at target 
um, months ago and they still fit so that's what she wore I had an extra pair of clothing just in case she got dirty or she needed to change her clothes or something you guys this is it for this video for Arrow's birthday um, it sucks that I didn't vlog the whole thing I was really just trying to enjoy the moment because this was her first party that I actually planned and went through with it like the first party I planned as a parent um, so I really wanted to enjoy it. I really wanted to be in the moment. I didn't want to have to stress about vlogging. Uh, but I do think this is also important. So I did get content to show you guys. Um, but if your toddler, if your little one is turning one, two, or three, or four, um, I hope this idea works. I hope that you can get some ideas um, for their birthday party. This would be the cutest theme ever. Um, and so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, to comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, share with your girlfriends, share with that mom who needs inspiration, encouragement, support, um, community. That's what we're here for. All right. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video.